Uh, hello there. Good evening. I thought I'd tackle yet another um, made-up villain, mostly from the internet. Uh, they did make a movie, I believe, which was touted as having bad reviews, if I recall correctly. I could have looked it up. I didn't. I don't have any interest in the subject, really. I'm simply talking about it because it explains certain things. And I'm going to make this a relatively quick video because I can't stand the subject. I didn't enjoy talking about Valak, the nun. Uh, I don't like Babadook. And, you know, name your other, you know, you know your villains. Like, um, you got Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, uh, Freddy Krueger. You name them. I don't like any of them. They're stupid assholes. And they were written by stupid assholes. And they try to hide behind the fact, well, this is a cautionary tale and a metaphor. And it's like, no, the people who wrote them are just assholes. Okay? Uh, it doesn't matter what they think and why they wrote them that way. That doesn't alter the fact that they are indeed assholes. Um, so anyway, I'm going to talk about the Slender Man, because obviously that's probably an issue I'm going to have to deal with, because there are a bunch of people who know where I live and don't like me, and don't like my YouTube channel. And, uh, the Slender Man would be a villain that, uh, I would, uh, be at a disadvantage against, because my vision ain't too good, in case anyone didn't know that. And something far off in the distance, uh, kind of watching me, and I can't really see what it is. Um, you know, and can't see it at all at this point in time. But, you know, eventually the more YouTube videos I make, uh, and I'm going to keep making them because the Slender Man's purpose, in my particular example, is to scare me and to stop making YouTube videos because I say things people don't want to hear. And it's like... Okay, you've been successful at destroying other up-and-coming YouTube stars, but you ain't getting me. I'm not scared of some douchebag out there who thinks that, uh, you know, they can spook me out of my YouTube channel. That's not happening. I haven't made my money yet, so I have no intention of going anywhere. All the other bullshit that has to deal with uh, Slenderman does not apply to me. Um, because those are a bunch of stupid stories, and that applies to other people, probably, but, uh, not to me, because the Slender Man is gonna be some douchebag who works for YouTube, or the internet as a whole, and, uh, they like to think that they know everything, and that they can, you know, like I said, spook me out of making my YouTube channel, if by no other means, by, um, putting me in front of an audience after as long as I've been making YouTube videos where I've not been able to see the audience for myself. I have had a few videos in the past that have had, you know, some comments on them. Mostly they were derogatory and, you know, very aggressive and, you know, that's their style. And they probably looked at my channel and went, look, this guy isn't gonna, you know, he isn't gonna change his opinions on things or the way he has a style on making his videos. Obviously, I can make improvements, but I'm not going to change my style. And uh, if I start to see Slender Man on my YouTube internet feed or on my Facebook internet feed and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to call it out. Uh, you don't know, but I've been writing documents about what I do see because there are things that are conveniently placed in certain areas where I go, yeah, right, that was sounded like a direct message to me, but, um, you know, we'll, uh, uh, you know, not say that to people outside of the internet because I'll be simply diagnosed as somebody who's having paranoid thoughts, even though the evidence is right there for everyone to see. Because I've been making notes, taking pictures. Um... You know, I'm not afraid of the internet. A lot of real bad people on the internet. And guess what? I'm not afraid of them. I don't have to be afraid of them. This is friggin' Canada. 
Sure, it's ran by assholes like every other country, but it doesn't matter because it's Canada. Canada's a little bit less unreasonable. Yeah, so this Slender Man is supposed to have, again, invincible powers, undefeatable, blah, 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 blah. And that's because the system can never be wrong. And the imposters of the Slender Man, they can get thrown uh, into wherever, you know. Um, I suppose even in some instances, prison or something like that. For me, they'd be looking at him going, well, let's see when this guy turns and he becomes the monster we've been calling him all these years i'm gonna let you in on a secret that's not gonna happen because i'm better than you because the quality of my character has a higher content to it um yeah so um yeah there are slender men out there who patrol the internet and you know they will try to they have been trying to intimidate me. And it's quite easy to do when I'm taking psychiatric medication for a few reasons. One, nobody believes me because I'm on psychiatric medication. Not much, by the way. Number two, I have a lot of physical ailments that have weakened my, uh, my performance. Uh, trust me, I'd be a lot stronger if I wasn't on any of this medication. And, you know, doctors go, oh, he's not accepting the medication, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, I'm not accepting it because you're a bit fucked up in the head and you're not to be trusted. Those are legitimate reasons. I mean, I could delve into all the problems that they are that is you, but um, that's beyond the scope of this video. So anyway, so this Slender Man is a douchebag out there who does not like me, evidently, a lot. Uh, and they may have their reasons, and, you know, I'd even dare say that they weren't wrong. They are wrong, but uh, I'd almost dare, I should say, that um, they're, you know, um, got a different ideological philosophy basis than I do. Um, and, you know, you're going to run into people you don't like all the time, no matter where you go anyway. As a normal person, not everyone's going to like you, and you probably don't want everyone liking you. I mean, I wouldn't want everyone liking me, because there's a lot of people I don't like. And, uh, I mean, a lot of people go, Oh, he's being racist! Uh, when he says certain things and you know that's their verbal mechanism for control it's not because they give one tinker's damn about racism it's because it's their verbal mechanism of control regardless of what they say and what people want to believe from certain individuals uh so you know that's something i have to take into consideration every day because i have a social media account it's there I could show it to anybody who asks, unless, I don't know, I go somewhere and uh, go to show it to someone and it's disappeared all of a sudden. That could happen faster than I could show it to someone, theoretically. Not that I'm invited out anywhere. Probably because people are accusing me of being that character. And again, it's not because they believe it. Maybe they do, but they probably don't because there's no evidence for it. Uh, but it's their mechanism of control. And now that's important. The mechanism of control. That's how they assert their power. And uh, it doesn't make them right. It makes them cunts. Every last one of them is a cunt. And, uh, you know, that's good enough reason in my book not to like them. These internet goons... I'm shocked at how pitiful and cowardly they really are. I know they'll turn around and go, well, we'll give you a little scare, let's make see how you go. I just had the most extreme stomach pain. I've had a sore throat for seven years. You're going to have to try a little bit better than that if you're going to scare me. And if you're going to put little cryptic little fucking writing on the computer so I don't know what's what, um... Yeah, guess what? I'm going to notice. And I'm going to document it. Because Slender Man, like all the other villains, is a caricature, a metaphor. Doesn't really exist. It's just some stupid cunt out there on the internet somewhere. 
probably being paid too much and probably a bit of a narcissist and probably a bunch of other things, but I've not met him before, so I guess I'm not in a position to call him all those sort of things. Although I could throw those insults as a generic, you know, for these type of people out there. And, you know, sure, some of those uh, pitches are going to miss the mark, but some of them are going to be quite accurate. And these people that watch my YouTube videos, um, it's a fair guess to suggest that they are cunts and they can't prove nothing which would be what they need to enable themselves to you know further be cunts towards me yeah sorry you're gonna have to look a little harder than that and you're not gonna find anything so anyway i guess i'll talk to you people later have a good one Unless you're a cunt, have a bad one.